Assalamu alaikum, this is Tani Akhtar. Sustainable transportation refers to any means of transportation that is green and has low impact on the environment. Sustainable transportation is also about balancing our current and future needs. Some examples of sustainable transportation include walking, cycling, transit, car sharing, and green vehicles. It is different story in Bangladesh where the transportation infrastructure is deployed. Infrastructure Planning Commission and the Ministry of Communication a Strategic Transport Plan for Dhaka was developed which aims to reduce traffic congestion, increase mobility and reduce greenhouse gas emission. Hello everyone, this is Karan Kovinishan and I will be presenting you how sustainable transportation system save the environment. Now the traditional transportation system comes with problems like global warming, air pollution, health problems, greenhouse emission and environmental degradation of course. Statistics shows over 90% of all road transportation system relies on oil which is over 60% of the total world oil consumption. Now the sustainable transportation system makes us use our resources efficiently by modifying the transportation sector because the whole world is shifting towards eco-friendly modes. Let me give you an easy example. Suppose you have three members in your family and each of them has a car. So instead of using each car per person, you can pull your ride and save three times more fuel you are spending earlier. Now suppose if 1000 families does the same as you, guess how much fuel you are saving. You are not only saving fuel, you are saving money and the mother earth. Sustainable transportation system also involves using bicycles or electric bicycles, using public bus, using electric cars or hybrid cars or electric trains, etc. which will drastically reduce environmental degradation and fuel consumption and save the earth. This is Nishan signing up. Assalamu alaikum, I am Rajatul Karim Raka. I want to share what is the current status of transport system in Bangladesh and are they sustainable or not? Let's start. Present status of transport system in BT. Uh, Bangladesh witnessed rapid growth of transport sector since independence. The overall annual growth rate was nearly 8.2% for ferry transport and 8.4% for passenger transport. The relative roles of transport modes are evolving with road, uh, road transport expanding at the expense of railways and inland water transport. Bangladesh Railway provides environment friendly, less hazardous and less expensive trans transport services. It has got a total network of 2877.10 root kilometers for many years. Railway played a significant role as a dominated mode of land transport because of its less hazardous and less expensive transport services. In recent years, the railway has been losing its market share to other modes, especially the road because of its flexibility and capability to provide door to door service. The transport system inland water transport inland water transport is an extremely energy efficient and economical mode of transport bangladesh has about 14000 kilometers of waterways of which 5968 kilometers remain navigable during monsoon and 3865 kilometers of uh, uh, river and canal are navigable during the dry season the water transport network of the country not only caters to the inland movement of ferret and passenger but also play an important role in the transportation of import and export items Item through the ports of Chitong and Mongla. Currently, most of these waterways suffer from navigational hazard like uh, shallow water and narrow wide of channel um, during the dry weather uh, slitation bank, bank erosion. The biggest transport system is road transport. There has been tremendous expansion of road network in the country since independence. In 1971, total length of private roads was 3,000 km, which increased to about 55,000 km. Dhaka is connected with the major urban centers and the seaports by roads. The urban transport issues of mobility, congestion, safety, and environmental aspect are becoming increasing important and critical in Bangladesh. The rapid urbanization process, high vehicular population growth, and that of the mobility, inadequate transport facilities and policies have created a significant uh, significant worsening of traffic and uh, environmental problems in the major urban uh, centers, in particular Dhaka. Are the transport system of Bangladesh sustainable? Well, the answer is no. There is many lackings. 
to make the transport system of Bangladesh sustainable, there are some steps include accessible accessibility for all. The purpose of transport is provide access to the uh, contact service and goods that we all need in equitable and low cost and low impact way. Social equality in transport using ecological sustainability, health and safety, uh, public participation and transparency, uh, economic and economy and low cost information and analysis advocacy. Transportation ensures that people as well as goods and services in an economy are able to arrive from one location to another. It is indeed an integral process that is necessary for the development and stability of a nation. Scientists in large research organizations used to conduct studies and experiment in order to devise the most efficient or less fuel consuming vehicles. But now is a different era where everyone is focusing on building a sustainable transportation system, one which emits the least amount of greenhouse gases and minimize the harmful impact on the environment. Car companies such as Tesla, Toyota and Nissan are making large investments in developing the best electric vehicle of the future. This reflects that people are generally becoming more conscious of the environment and are interested to become eco-friendly. The goal of the strategic transport plan are efficiency, mobility and accessibility, safety, affordability, achievability, economic development, social development and environment. Some of the strategic projects outlined in the STP are given as follows. Underground railway system which is known as metro, bus rapid transit which is denoted as BRT, Development of traffic management, non motorized transport lanes, pedestrian facilities, circular waterway, elevated expressway, light railways, east west connection road, and 50 road projects. We are hoping that these projects will be implemented soon and the Dhaka as well as the other parts of Bangladesh will soon start adopting the sustainable transportation system. As we have known, the core objective of sustainable transportation is to decarbonize. To put this matter as the topmost priority in the objective of reducing carbon dioxide, Bangladesh government has taken some initiative to touch the maximum value in various ways through the concept of sustainable transportation. A law in the name of Bangladesh Shorok Puri Bohan Kurti was passed in 2015. That time, the cabinet endorsed this law in order to sustain motor vehicles and the road transportation system to be planned and technology based. The main objective of the law is to lay down the transportation system and motor vehicles as well planned technology based and environmental friendly. Bangladesh government has launched projects to reduce the emission of carbon dioxide such as metro rail project. It will reduce the amount of vehicles as the people who take this service. The more people use the service, the lesser the use of vehicles can be caused. As a result, it will surely reduce carbon dioxide emission to some extent. And the government has planned to expand the service in Dhaka city as its first target and later in the other major cities.